Right, so after taking out the Musa sicamensis in this corner here, this is a nice uh, sunny corner here from lunchtime onwards all the way to late evening. Um, last summer I had some Hittichium gardenarium, uh, the ginger lilies. And, uh, you can't eat this uh, ginger. I'm going to pot it up. Um, I'm going to add topsoil and gravel in it to give um, some more nutrients and good drainage because it likes to be soaked as well. Um, and I'm going to leave it in the ground over winter. Right, so several shovelfuls of soil here. And I'm also going to be adding the gravel now. Right, so I had the uh, soil and the gravel mixed filled in the hole and I'm just going to blend all that up plant up the, the ginger Right, so here it is planted up and um, the ground has been raised up with the addition of the, the soil and the gravel so it's kind of sitting proud it's not sunk down into the bed um, I mean, just see it here the new growing point I was actually getting worried because I haven't had these before, I thought it was after dying in the pot but it was just it was still uh, dormant but there it's, it's taken off now um, and it's in really good soil, it's in a good area, it's going to be rich in feed um, hopefully with the gravel added and it's kind of sitting up instead of being sunk down into the ground that it will have the drainage will help it over the winter when it gets a mulch put across the top um, save a lot of hassle if these plants can can grow in the ground with just the, the mulch over them and um, some of the um, the purple cannas that I had in the pots and stuff I'm going to be adding to the bed as well, uh, raising them up, putting gravel underneath them, making sure they've good drainage because um, they will be getting soaked in here. But uh, I'm going to see how they get on over the winter. So here's some of the uh, the black cannas. Um, but I basically just took this out of the, the tunnel right now. And I've opened up an ant's nest. So I don't know whether to kill them off. A kettle of boiling water will kill them off, but it'll also kill the plants. And I don't want to divide up this clump. So the ants could actually be beneficial in the bed. We'll find out and see anyway. And I don't think they'd like it too much in there because it's, it's so damp. I've been squashing them but there just seems to be hundreds of them I'm gonna plant this up anyway in here and I'm gonna plant up the rest of the, the gravel underneath the soil to give it some drainage so I have the gravel and soil gone in I'll just dig this back in mix it up get the plant it up Right, I'm going to give those uh, black hannas a good feed now. Um, and this is the first time I've used this product. It's a Kempac high nitrogen feed, 25-15-15 NPK. Um, see what kind of results I get from it. Um, I gave all the plants, the bamboos and trees and stuff down in the chicken pen a feed. And I used up the barrel of the comfrey nettle. Uh, tea basically that I made up last winter see how they get on so I'm gonna feed these cannas now right let's get them fed and water these are hungry plants like uh, bananas or the hostas
That's then done. Right, so those cannons that I got in are not the only dark purple leaves that are going in. This is some of the Persicaria red dragon that I've divided up and there wasn't one bit of wilt. They just stayed the way they are. So I'm gonna leave these in the pots for a couple of months, feed them up and then just start moving around into the beds here. <laughs> 